Hey guys, so I've been recording a vlog today that I realized you guys actually won't see until Saturday when it's up. Um, and realized that one of the things I was talking about in it was Sing With Me Friday. And so you wouldn't be seeing it until after I upload my singing video. So I just wanted to take this moment to do a little intro to this week's Sing With Me Friday. Um, I think I've been overusing my voice this week at work. And so yesterday I had a pretty sore throat. It's gotten a little better this afternoon, but I just don't want to push it and do any singing right now. Um, I just want to try and get rid of this sore throat. I'm hoping it's not a cold. Um, I get this from time to time where it lasts like a day or two and then it goes away. So I'm thinking it's probably the same thing this time because it is starting to feel better. But I just didn't want to push it and sing. So what I'm gonna do this week because I still wanted you guys to hear me sing um, since you guys had such an amazing response to it um, last week. Uh, I'm going to share with you a recording that I did in the studio when I was about 17 or 18. Um, my dad, who plays guitar, um, and he used to be an amazing singer as well, but um, smoking has kind of killed that over the years unfortunately um, and I don't think he really plays guitar much anymore but uh, now that he's getting older um, but yeah so at the time he was really in, like you know he was really wanting to help me pursue a singing career because that's what I had wanted at the time and um, my sister is an amazing singer as well my half sister um, and so he bought some studio time and um, we recorded some songs um, that he wrote. Uh, my sister and I found the majority of them extremely corny songs, really corny songs. <laughs> we really didn't want to record them. We felt so awkward singing them. But um, there was one song that he did write that I didn't mind actually, or two of them I think. Two of them I didn't really mind, um, and I'll probably end up sharing those two with you at some point because they're not that bad. Um, but the cool thing is that I actually got to record a song that I wrote. Um, I think I wrote it when I was about 14 or 15, and um, I definitely would not consider myself a songwriter. Um, it's not the greatest song in the world. But at the time, I thought it was pretty awesome <laughs> that I got to record it. And I mean, I don't even play an instrument. I just wrote the lyrics first, and then I came up with a mel melody to it. And I just roughly recorded myself on my little uh, knockoff Fisher-Price tape recorder, the same one that I've used uh, in the past that I used when I was a child to record myself in the throwback Thursdays that you guys have been hearing um, and I just recorded it and I played it for my dad and he took the tape and he figured it out on his guitar how to play the medley or melody I don't know why I keep saying medley <laughs> Med melody um, he figured it out on the guitar and you know wrote up all the music and everything so we could give it to the band um, at the studio we actually had you know a band that came in um, so it put you know a whole spin on my song like we had all the instruments in there and everything and it was pretty cool so um, like I said it's not the best song ever but it's pretty cool that I got to write a song and actually record it um, and it was, like I said, it was when I was 17 or 18, so my voice was a lot better at that time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so in order to preserve my voice at this time, I just thought I would share this recording with you guys. And the song is called Call on the Angels, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Child, the age of 12 years, her 
happiness was stolen, replaced with many tears. She had so many dreams, so many goals she had to find. Now with all of this hurt, they all seem far behind. She kept the faith, and soon she could see that God and His angels could one day Says. Yeah. 